so Buzz, guess what? I'm making a video about my favorite characters to meet at Walt Disney World. And guess what? You're in that video. Yes! What? He's one of my favorite characters, yes! Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today I'll be talking about my top 10 favorite characters to meet here at Walt Disney World. I love visiting the parks and I love meeting the characters. I want to share with you who are my favorite characters to meet. We're going to start off this list with number 10 and we have To Infinity and Beyond. We have Buzz Lightyear. As a kid, I grew up watching the Toy Story films and I collected all the toys. All of them. And Buzz Lightyear was always my favorite toy. Every time I go to Disney's Hollywood Studios and go into Andy's backyard, I have to say hi to my favorite Space Ranger. I just love him, especially the way he gives hugs. It's kind of awkward because he's so big. Or did I shrunk it to the size of a toy? Either way, it's kind of awkward hugging him, but Buzz is full of love, full of charm. He's, he's the sweetest. You can also meet Buzz Lightyear at Tomorrowland at Magic Kingdom, but it's not as special like Andy's Backyard. So if you want to say hi to your favorite Space Ranger, step over to Andy's Backyard at Disney's Hollywood Studios. He's gonna love it. He loves meeting new friends. Number 9 on the list, we have Donald Duck. Now let me tell you that I'm not the biggest Donald Duck fan. I prefer Uncle Scrooge, but... Donald Duck made it to the list because when I started visiting the parks and I started to see Donald more often, I, I just find him adorable and cute. I know he has anger issues, but he's just adorable. And here at Walt Disney World, it's rare to meet Donald in his sailor outfit. Yeah, you can only meet him in special outfits like uh, the Mexican Pavilion at Epcot, Dino Land at Animal Kingdom, Peach Silly Sideshow at Magic Kingdom, but here he's meeting guests before Fantasmic, so we get to see him in his regular outfit. I just love him. I love the color blue and it looks good on him, so every time I see Donald in his sailor outfit, it's a special treat for me, so that's why he's number 9 on the list. Number 8, we have my favorite puppy, Pluto. Now, Pluto has a special place in my heart because the very first word I ever wrote was Pluto. Yes, I didn't write my name, I didn't write anything else but Pluto. I remember being a kid and trying to write something and I don't know how I wrote Pluto. I still remember that. So Pluto was my first word and every time I see Pluto he's so playful he's such a playful puppy I just love him he's full of joy and happiness and every time I see him he makes me smile I mean look at him he's saying hi to the camera Pluto loves to play with his ears so if you see Pluto tell him to do something funny with his ears you might be surprised number seven on this list is Belle now, this footage is from April of 2017. I wasn't able to meet Belle before the making of this video, so I have to make I have to use an old video. But Belle is my favorite Disney princess. I grew up watching Beauty and the Beast. That was my favorite movie. And I think Villager Belle and her blue dress, she's just so Oh my god, she's just so beautiful. I love it. Earlier this year, in January, I was able to meet Paige O'Hara at the Epcot Festival of the Arts, and Paige O'Hara is the original voice of Belle. So I can say that I've met the original voice of Belle, and I have met Belle at Epcot. It's just amazing. I just think she's so beautiful. I can see why Gaston is obsessed with her. I mean, look at her, she's just amazing. My favorite now, number six is Mary Poppins. I just think she's beautiful. I love her jolly holiday dress. I just love the movie. I love Julie Andrews. Mary Poppins is one of those characters that never gets old. She's practically, practically perfect in every way. Here I'm meeting her at Magic Kingdom and I'm trying to impress her by spelling out supercalifragilisticexpialidocious which is kind of difficult to do, and I did so, but I missed out one letter, but I still think it's very impressive. 
I love meeting Mary Poppins, so every time I see her at Magic Kingdom or at Epcot, I have to stop by and at least see her because she's just full of charm, full of... I just love her. Number five on this list is Clarice the Chic Monk. Now, you saw me hugging my friend, he's dancing with Clarice. But Clarice is one of my favorite characters because recently she has, I don't know, like, I just love her. I can't explain it. I just think she's beautiful. She's sassy. She's a rare character. She's very popular over at Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea. The very first time I met her was at Tokyo Disney Sea, and she was amazing. I remember the first time I discovered her, I couldn't believe that. Clarice was a character at the parks, and I just got obsessed with her. I wish she was a meetable, uh, meetable character here at Walt Disney World, but the best thing you can do is dance with her at the Move and Shake It Mouse Can Dance at Street Party at Magic Kingdom. Look at her go. Number four on this list is Goofy. Goofy is one of my favorite characters because he is so kind and so friendly. Every time I meet him, he gives the best hugs. And it's always a very interesting interaction. You never know what Goofy's gonna do. He may do something silly or he can do something very charming. I love meeting Goofy. Goofy was the very first Disney character I ever met. When I visited Walt Disney World when I was a kid in 2005, I met Goofy down in Main Street. So he was the very first character I ever met. Unfortunately, I don't have a picture of me and Goofy from that time, but Goofy sure does have a special place in my heart. I've never met a bad Goofy. Goofy's always full of life and love and laughter. Number three on this list is Miss Daisy Duck. I absolutely love her because of, mainly because of her color scheme. Lavender, white, pink. Oh my God, I just absolutely love it. And she's so soft too, and she's very special. She can be sassy, she can be a sweetheart. You never know what you're gonna get with Daisy, but it's always an interesting moment. Daisy Duck is one of two characters that I've met at all the Disney parks I visited. I've met her at Disneyland, I've met her at Disneyland Paris, and I've met her at Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea. So everywhere I go Disney related, I always manage to say hi to Daisy. Daisy, I just absolutely love her. I wish I could take her home with me so we can be besties, but her home is Walt Disney World, so I just love her. Number two on this list is Minnie Mouse. Now, anyone that knows me personally knows that I absolutely love Minnie Mouse. She is my absolute favorite Disney character. And like Daisy, I've met her at all the Disney parks too that I visited. I've met her at all the Disney parks here at Walt Disney World. I've met her at Disneyland and I've waited a two hour line twice, two hours to meet Minnie at Disneyland Paris for the 25th anniversary and at Tokyo Disneyland. Oh my goodness, you gotta be a true Disney fan or a true Minnie Mouse fan to wait two hours to meet her. She just, she's beautiful, I love her, but number one on this list is Mickey Mouse. Because Mickey Mouse, he is special. He is the leader of the club. And you cannot go to Disney and not meet Mickey. I mean, Mickey, he's gentle, he's sweet, he's lovable. He is everything and everything you expect in a character. So if you're gonna go to a Disney park and you're only gonna meet one character, I highly recommend meeting Mickey. Every time I meet Mickey, it's always an interesting um, occasion. And there's several times where Mickey has recognized me and I just broken down into tears because that's the magic Mickey has on people. 
so Mickey Mouse is number one on this list because he's just iconic. You can never go wrong. He's lovable. He's handsome. He's everything. I mean, he is the symbol of the Walt Disney Company. So, yeah, he's waving at the camera right now. So, thank you everybody for watching this video. Bye!